Angeles Lakers and the Philadelphia 76ers. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. D.A. will join us tonight on the sideline. Pass to Reeves. There's Russell with the three. No good on that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level and the promise that got him that last four-year deal. Stolen by Harden. Lakers foul. Austin Reeves. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Los Angeles on D. Here is Harden. Pass to Harris. To the paint. Here's Maxi. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his second. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. Maxi hits them both. Now, there aren't many players with a quicker first step than Tyrese Maxey. And I love the way he uses it to his advantage, Greg. I mean, he's got an athletic advantage over most of the guys that are defending him, and he'll exploit it every chance he gets. But that quick first step and fearlessness, lethal combination. It's stolen by Davis. James fires from way outside. Los Angeles with another miss. Now the 76ers with it. Kicks it out to Harden. James trying to free himself up. And James Harden hits from deep. Harden's got five now. The threat to shoot whenever he catches it. Harden wasting no time. Pass to Davis. LeBron James on the wing. Left side Davis. Five to shoot. And that time, also a missed shot. Quick start here for the 76ers in this one. Seven point differential. Kicks it out to Harden. Harris outside. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And stolen by James. Here's Davis. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. Al Harden. Harris, right side. Pass to Tucker. And stolen by Russell. Outside, Davis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Harris. Now I tell you what, you can make a case he's the best player in the league. Davis is really the total package, both ends of the floor, and he continues to get better. Two shots. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder though if the team is going to focus on having him be at his best for the season run and try to manage the wear and tear. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Pass to Embiid. Over to the left wing. 
Gordon outside. Four on the clock. Here's Niang. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. Austin Reeves. Reeves gets the bucket. He's hard to stop when given any room to operate at all. Now, here is Harden. He has five. In the corner, it's Harris. Up and in on the layup. Harris has really become much more adept at finishing hard shots. Great focus there. Here's Reeves. The shot, no good. Some solid defense for Maxi. Of 76ers leading by five. And here's Harris from the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. Boy, this is something that Harris has really enhanced in his game over time. Hard work paying dividends. And I tell you what, he is one guy you do not stand in the way of when he decides to attack the basket. Here's Nian. It's good. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. The 76ers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Now here's Harden. He has five. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injury. Has he lost a step to age or injury? Well, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. Los Angeles making a switch here. Harden with it. He's picked up by Russell. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys, so that's a free basket right there. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. The drive by James. Good on the bucket. Still possessing incredible athleticism. LeBron James, when he attacks like this, you can almost forget about stopping. On the wing, Melton. Harden scanning the floor. Pass to Melton. Harden with it. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Bamba. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. Hard to believe Greg last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. Pass to Harold. Back to Harden. In the corner, Hero with it. Another three for Philadelphia. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and excels at finding teammates. Now, here is Russell. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Melton. Driving inside. I like their focus coming in to terrific execution so far. 
And you know, it's an all out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Vanderbilt. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Harden lets up. And stolen by LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. Well, you've got to be careful around LeBron and mindful of his presence now. He's very opportunistic defensively, and with that size, speed, and anticipation, he can pick your pocket. Pass to Tucker. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin Doc Rivers gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He's confident in their ability to win the battle of the low post. That's where he'd like to see most of the action take place. Kevin, I think we can expect them to pound the ball down low every chance they get. Let their big men go to work. All right, thank you, David. Pass to Tucker. Down to five on the shot clock. And the rejection by James. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot for me and he gets there to swat it down. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Here's Harden. Out to Harris. For the three. They get the rebound. There's Harold. Bamba with the block. Guys, that's all athleticism and timing. Bamba, a terrific shot blocker because he uses the physical tools he has quite well. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Stolen by Harden. 76ers moving the ball around. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Bamba. Ferociousness from Hart looking like he wants to tear the rim off. Over to the wing. Blocking foul call. On Charles Harris. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Substitution for your 76ers. There's 10 seconds left in the first quarter. James refusing to be denied, just muscling through that foul to get the shot off. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And taking a look back at last year's numbers, he's about a 76% shooter. Just three on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. James Harden getting it done for the 76ers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. To the wing on the left. Here's Maxi. That's good, and that's indeed with the assist. Maxi's got the opening field goal in the second quarter for the 76ers. The kick out to Brown. Off target with his three. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year because we were in the Eastern Conference. Those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win title. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by it. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Hey, I'll tell you what, Embiid is not just an okay shooter. This guy is a terrific shooter. So you can't let him get comfortable really from any distance. He can knock it down from anywhere. A super high percentage shot there, you just can't allow him to get that close. 
And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Here's Maxi. Off target from outside. Lakers trail by five. And now we've got the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but it certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Stolen by McDaniels. Here's the break. And he drew the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Back to Milton. It's stolen by Schroeder. Down low. Here's Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. This goes to Things really rolling for AD now. This could be a big night for him. From the strike. Maxi, no good. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by six. There's three pointers off the mark. And NB with a clear path to the hoop. And there's the foul to try to stop the break, and that'll be a clear path to the basket. Two free throws coming up, and they'll retain possession. It's his first trip to the line. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injury. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh, my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. Pass to Embiid. And stolen by LeBron. Right wing. And he drives in. And James throws it down. Well, that's one man never afraid to punch it. Give LeBron a path to the bucket. And the finish is going to be something in a poster. It's stolen by Davis. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. That, right. That's a stretch, though. It's definitely a strange move on his part. There aren't many guys that can match LeBron when he's in a really good scoring rhythm. Asserting himself on offense is problems for the defense and good for his team. Hey, there's no denying the direction in Philly. They want to win now. The Sixers have an attitude coming from their front office that they want to get it done now, and I like seeing that. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That's foul number two for him. To the wing right side. Leaves. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Reeves has got five points so far. And for the 76ers organization, the expectation is, of course, part a championship. And that's where the expectation should be when you have a potential MVP in Joel Embiid. I mean, he's been an MVP candidate multiple seasons in a row. I think the Sixers should be thinking tight. And here is Milton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Tucker. Here's Milton. Back to Tucker. Now here's Milton. Lock at six. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Maxi, no good. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Here's Reeves. Here's LeBron. 
And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Yeah, you know, LeBron's mental strength is just so, so focused that nothing much phases him. He stays locked in. And bead in the corner. That one a little long. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Well, you describe AD's game, then you start running out of superlatives. I mean, when this guy is healthy, he dominates in a different fashion, but in similar ways to Tim Duncan. And Bede in the corner. And he gets it to go from the corner. He's got eight. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Irving. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David. And we thank you for your report. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Exceptional strength. Harden is so smart at creating opportunities to get to the free throw line. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next. As a player, uh, how do you adjust to that? That's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I, I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. <laughs> Lakers trailed by four. Walker in the post. Great D that time from Harold. Melton to the inside. And Harold shoves it in. Boy, that's a forceful, intimidating slam by Harold. He dared the defense to try to stop him there, and I don't think they wanted to. Left side, Walker. Here's LeBron. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Out to the right wing. Here's Harrell. Stolen by Walker. To the middle. Here's Vanderbilt. Takes it from 10. It's hauled in by the 76ers. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Tucker. Nobody near Milton. And it's off from three-point range. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. LeBron James. And LeBron James gets it to go. LeBron is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 260 LBs, and there's nothing extra there. So he can physically impose his will and flat out dominate near the rim. That's a two-pointer from Walker. And another basket for the Lakers. But you know what? Sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession. Hit by Harold. Pass to Melton. And stolen by James. And here's the fast break. Walker leading the way. Vanderbilt controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Vanderbilt's got the lead up to two now for the Lakers. A chance now to catch up on some numbers with the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball, looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals in transition. Outside, Walker. 
when he converts the way. And it's a four-point Laker lead. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. Inside, Harold. And Harold slams it in. And dropping the sledgehammer there, he curbs a 10-0 run by Los Angeles. Basket counts. James has got 26. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Here's Harris to the left side wing. Here's Tucker. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, hard to corral the energy that P.J. Tucker plays with. And he gets in there and mixes it up, and he'll go to the line. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent, but some guys are well past their prime. Lakers leading by three. Russell from long range. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. On the wing, Melton. Picked by Harold. From deep Harden. And the 76ers get it back. Back to Melton. Pass to Tucker. Kicks it out to Harden. And stolen by James. Timeout called the Lakers. They've already committed enough fouls to be in the penalty. Not good. They need to concentrate on playing good defense without fouls. One second left, and no good on the last second attempt this time. You know, Harrell is an excellent defender. For him, it's all about energy, and he brings that every single night. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's Harden, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Walker. And finished off by Walker. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. Long, and he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And, Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. I agree. I mean, now's when they need a spark the most. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Out to Harris. Harden outside. Six on the shot clock. And Davis sends it back. Not only does Davis have great skill, but he is tremendously agile. He can get shots from just about anywhere on the court. Back to Walker. Fires for three. Goes back up. They get it again. And that one's good by Davis. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And Tucker has it in the corner. And stolen by LeBron. And the foul on Harden. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Laker substitution. Right side Davis. Brown wide open. He fires. Sinks the three-pointer. Brown's got five. You know, with each season in the league, AD's become more of a facilitator. Actually, he's much more aware of how to make plays for his teammates. And he didn't punish them for it 
the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Outside, Walker from downtown. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Harden outside. Looking to end the run. And Harden with the stop. A guy like Harden makes a coach look really good. I mean, you can rely on him to consistently give you big scoring performances. Back to Russell. Brown outside. Shot clock at six. Back to Russell. Trying to get open is Davis. And it's Russell missing. The 76ers trailed by 13. Pass to Tucker. Back to Melton. Now here's Harrell. Nine points in the game so far. Harden outside. To the middle. Melton. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Terrific ball movement. Harden with perfect timing on the pass. That's often overlooked when the pass gets there. He relishes his role as distributor. Down low. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Harrell. Pass to Niang. To the right side. Lots of room. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. And Davis now, top of the key. Brown with it. And the dunk by Brown. Anthony Davis, clearly a team first guy. He's got special talent, but he's not afraid to share the ball either. Out to Harris for three. He can't get that one to fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Out to the wing. And a wide open look for Walker. A three-pointer off the mark. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Harris looking it over. Pass to Harrell. From deep. Hits the three-point bomb. Harrell's got 12. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Here's Davis. On his 15th shot attempt, he makes his ninth basket, shooting a healthy 60% tonight. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, I love the way he's fighting through box outs, using his elbows. I mean, he's doing whatever it takes. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Here's Milton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Out to Harris. No good on the three. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles. They lead by 14. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot, but... I'd go with the Lakers, more superstars over the years. I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. 
That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Out to Harris. Six to shoot. And beat inside. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. Rui Hachimura picks one up. Rui Hachimura. Embiid right there to get the rebound and put it right back up. Excellent anticipation. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Here's Milton. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on D'Angelo Russell. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Out left to the wing. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And the three off target. Milton with it. That one good for two. Niang's got nine. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Russell from long range. And MB pulls it down. The 76ers trailed by 11. Davis with the double team. To the inside. And stolen by James. It's stolen. Fast break. Here we go. You know, what I respect about Embiid, in addition to his tremendous skill and size, is his willingness to keep working on himself. He's already an elite talent. But if he sees any room for improvement, he'll go to work to make it happen. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. Good on the triple. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy buck. And that one's good, Maxi. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Los Angeles leading by 10. James in the post. To the left wing. Let's it go from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Really That's his fourth personal foul. Four. 124 left to play in the third. Tucker a screen. And bead in the corner. Here's Milton. Second shot opportunity. Out to the right wing. Tucker can't get it to go. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage junk there. LeBron James. Trains the three-pointer. Three. I think LeBron is best shooting the ball off the dribble. His accuracy, spot on. Tucker is green. Let's the three fly. Drops in the tray. Four and I, both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Beyond the arc. There's Embiid. Pass to Tucker. And there's the foul. We'll go on P.J. Tucker. Tucker. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. You're reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. And here is Hachimura. No good from outside. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Strong 
move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in the driver's seat, up at 87. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. And here's Schroeder. A three ball. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Pass to McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniel. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. Back to McDaniel. Pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. That's a fourth personal foul. First team foul. Here's Milton. Driving the lane. Down he goes. Nice one there from Niang. Los Angeles leading by six. The kick out to Brown. Takes the three. Good on the three point shot. How about that dish by Schroeder? Always a good idea to get it to the open man. That's, that's just good basketball. Embiid in the corner. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Schroeder looking over the floor. And it's slammed in by Davis. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one on Davis. You know, a feed like this shows you how well-rounded Joel Embiid's game is becoming and what a good teammate he is. He's not just looking for his own. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And when you think about veteran guard Dennis Schroeder, he's still such a shifty, unpredictable player. Yeah, he really is because of the way he can change gears and play at different speeds. Very impressive. At his best, when he's putting blinding speed to use, he doesn't always unleash it, but when he does, it's very effective. Kicks it out to Harden. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Los Angeles leading by 10. To the paint. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Davis using that athleticism to battle it out on the glass. From in that tight, hard to stop AD. And slam dunk by Harris. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. That's his third personal foul. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers substitution. At one point, they led by 16. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Schroeder outside. That's his fourth personal foul. Third team foul. Over to the left wing. Coming out of the floor here, Sixer. Pass to Reeves. Just five to shoot. James. LeBron James. And finished off by LeBron. Boom. LeBron. He's still got major bounce and force on the fly. It's Harden with the drive. You gotta have some guts and guile to take it to the bucket strong despite the big fella standing in the way. Here's James. And the dunk by James. 
Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Harden draws the double. Here's Tucker. And he's good on the three ball. Tucker's got it back down to a single digit deficit for the 76ers. Hey, yo, Pass to Bamba. A three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Well, long range from Bamba, really? Come on now. He's a new age center. A lot of these guys at seven feet tall can shoot the three. And he's one of them. Here's Harris. Now Embiid. Out to Harris. From deep three-point range. And Bamba pulls it down. Lakers lead by 12. Here's Hachimura. And he makes good on the layup. Hachimura's got four this quarter. And showing some toughness on that take. Hachimura, these kinds of buckets can energize a team. And Embiid is right there. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive play. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And that sixth sense, guys, might be better than just about anybody else's. Pass to Tucker. Back to Harris. Tucker with the ball. Now Harris. And no good. James looking it over. Now here is Hachimura. Fires the three. And it's LeBron James with the three. James has got 36. You know, the strategy used to be in defending LeBron, make him shoot jump shots, long jump shots. He's countered that strategy by becoming a knockdown three-point shooter. Lakers lead by 13. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Again, Los Angeles. And the total package, James, is so much fun to watch. Kicks it out to Harden. Pass to Tucker. It's tipped. And here's the break. Launches the three. He's off on that one. And Philadelphia the other way now. Harden with it. Now guarded by Schroeder. Out to Harris. Looking to get back on track here. Here's Embiid. A second chance effort. And Embiid throws it down. Well, I tell you what, I wouldn't want to deal with Embiid as my assignment tonight. And he's taking everybody to school. Stay out of the big fella's way because he's doing work. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. Pass to Tucker. Fires the three. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. And maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him that he's up off the threes. And he just powered that one. One of the game's top dunkers. Absolutely salivates when he attacks the rim. Maxi with it, and Hachimura picks him up defensively. Back to Harden. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Ripped away. Here's LeBron. And he gets it to go. LeBron's got 42 in the game. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. Launches it. And MB pulls it down. The 76ers trail by 18. Maxi in the corner. Here's Harden. Five on the clock. 
This one for three. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. 13 foul. That one on Davis. You know, you think of the Lakers leading up to LeBron James joining them. This was a team that struggled for relevancy. And even during Kobe Bryant's final seasons there, they still were a little below par for the Lakers. That shot misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Schroeder outside. Here's the three. Knocks down the three ball. Three points. And the Lakers lead by 20. Mark, as you recall, the Lakers had missed the playoffs the last few years, leading up to LeBron James actually joining them. And you know what, Kevin? They missed it in year one of the King in L.A. as well. Some of that due to injury, but nonetheless, not part of the playoffs. Despite the bubble title, it's been a challenge for LeBron during this time with the Lakers. Last year, extremely frustrating. And I'm sure they want this season to be different. And they get it back. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. This one is all but over. I mean, what a ferocious and commanding performance for Los Angeles. At every opportunity, they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. Yeah, I think it paid off, that's for sure. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for LeBron. Well, his defense was tremendous tonight. Really, really high level. He was a pest, forced the opponents into a lot of turnovers. Kicks it out to Harden. That's good, and that's indeed with the assist. And this is what the offense is designed to produce. Slipping Harden into the corner for a three. That's money. A shot by LeBron, no good. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yep, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. Pass to Harris. Here's Harden on the win. Another three for Philadelphia. You can't let Harden get comfortable from outside the arc. I mean, he's capable 